Ladies and gentlemen, Oakland Racing Casino Resort proudly presents now the 47th running of the Fantasy. For three-year-old fillies at a mile and a 16th, with a guaranteed purse of $500,000, grade three. And now, presenting the field for the 47th Fantasy. Number one is Judmont Farm Incorporated's Cosmic Code. Brad Cox is the trainer and the jockey, John Court. Number two is Philly Joel, owned by Arendelle and trained by Juan Alvarado, the jockey, David Cohen. Number three is Michael Petrangelo, 10 Strike Racing and Matacat Stables Irish Mischief. Brad Cox is the trainer, and the jockey is Stuart Elliott. Number four is Lady Apple, owned by Phoenix Thoroughbreds and Katie Rich Stables. Steve Asmussen is the trainer, and the jockey is Ricardo Santana Jr. Number five is Ron Pellucci Racing's Destiny Over Fate. Jesus Cruz is the trainer, and the jockey is Walter De La Cruz. Number six is Super Tap, owned by Paradise Farm Corporation and Ron Pellucci Racing. Bob Hess Jr. is the trainer, and the jockey is Orlando Mojica. Number seven is Scratched. Number eight is Mark D. Domenico's Motion Emotion. Tom Van Berg is the trainer. The jockey, Mike Smith. Number nine is Brill, owned by OXO Equine and trained by Jerry Hollendorfer. The jockey, Florent Giroux. Number 10 is Star Ladies Racing's Oramore. Todd Pletcher is the trainer, and the jockey is Luis Saez. Number 11 is Carl Pergoya's K.P. Slickham. Weston Martin is the trainer, and the jockey, Tyler Bays. And completing the field, number 12, Calumet Farms Oxy Lady. Jack Sisterson is the trainer, and the jockey is Declan Cannon. That's the field for the 47th running of the Fantasy. They will reach the starting gate in less than five minutes. They're off. Motion Emotion broke well, so did Brill. The two favorites are one too early. Oxy Lady, Oramore, and Lady Apple are next. Then Cosmic Coat, followed by Super Tap, Irish Mischief, and KP Slickham. Next, it's Philly Joel, and the early trailer is Destiny Over Fate. Motion Emotion and Mike Smith to the backstretch. She will make the lead, and she does it fairly easily from Brill in second. Motion Emotion, a length and a quarter. Brill is second by two and a half lengths to Lady Apple and Aura Moore together third and fourth. Then comes Oxy Lady. She's midfield with about five lengths to make up. Irish Mischief is just inside of her. Stablemate Cosmic Code is six from the front. Then she's two in front of Philly Joel. Then comes Super, T Super Tap and Destiny Over Fate. And then it's four back to KP Slickham. There's a half mile left to run in the 47th Fantasy Motion Emotion and Brill. They've been one, two since they sprung the latch. And here is Brill outside of Motion Emotion. Motion Emotion only leads by a neck. Brill is alongside in second, and they set the stage for a good stretch battle. Several others with chances, including Irish Mischief, Oxy Lady, and Lady Apple. Five of them separate themselves at the top of the stretch. Stretch. It is still motion, emotion, and Brill. Now Oxy Lady comes with a solid run, and so does Aura Moore, and motion, emotion is still in front from Bill. Oxy Lady and Aura Moore, but motion, emotion. Lady Apple trying to come up the inside. It's tight, but she's trying to get through. Lady Apple, motion, emotion, and Brill. Lady Apple puts her head in front. Motion, emotion. Lady Apple wins the fantasy. Lady Apple beat Motion Emotion by a length. Brill was third, maybe Oromore for fourth.
Here with winning jockey Ricardo Santana, who piloted Lady Apple to a nine to one upset in today's feature, the grade three fantasy for trainer Steve Asmussen. Ricardo, a phenomenal trip on a very nice filly, getting her her first graded stakes victory, sat off the pace and talk me through your trip in the stretch because that was a beautiful rail skimming ride. Well, first of all, I need to say thank you to Mr. Steve and the owner and the crew giving to me the opportunity and the Philly and the amazing Philly. We got we got a beautiful trick. I put in a position that I want to be and um, turn for home. I don't got no pace to go out, so I say I have to pass through in the rail. And my Philly, I'm glad she know get scared when I, when, when I try to pass and she dated. She keep fighting for the hole and she pass it. Well, she didn't have any points going into the race to make the gate in the Kentucky Oaks. She got more than enough in today, getting 100 points. Looks like you've got plans the first Friday in May. Well, I'm going to miss Oakland, and, you know, I'm going to one of my dreams that I want to make it come true win the Oaks or the Derby. Well, dreams come true, and they started right here today in the feature, the Grade 3 Fantasy. Congratulations. Thank you.